All right, everybody, how y'all doing today? Today is the day that we clean Big Susie. Y'all probably wanna know, what is the Big Susie? Well, Big Susie is my editing rig slash business rig. Um, it's going on two years now, she has not had a good deep cleaning. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Let me show y'all what I'm gonna mess with. All right, and there she goes, oh, Big Susie. Yeah, she's messy. You know, um, she did her thing. You know, swing around the front. They're gonna get a good clean out there. Y'all see all that peach dust all on the grill and everything. Yeah, this baby blows. And you know what? This baby here does this thing. Y'all can see all the peach dust fuzz up top, right looking dirty. Yes, this is the uh, cute boy, do it yourself, cute boy case. Now I fell in love with this case here. They don't make them no more. And you probably see why I fell in love with it because it has that vertical mount motherboard tray. Yes, which I like the best. Um, I'm messing with basically five hard drives as y'all see them up front. The um, two 3.5s to two 2.5s. My M.2. Yes, I'm messing with the um, Fire Pro. W5100. Now keep in mind, this is not a gaming graphic card. Um, I saw a lot of demoralizing videos on YouTube demoralizing the graphic card. And that's what makes Gamers Universe a little more mediocre because y'all want to game off everything and every graphic card that comes out is not meant to be gamed on. Alright, I'm going cranking in. So y'all can go ahead and see the damage. It's a good, this is a good rig I put together. You know, cable management is spot on. You know, I cannot complain about that. And I'm gonna go ahead on and hit the flash, turn my light on, so y'all can see. Oh, the peak, look at that, yep, yep. You know, <laughs> y'all see that big, good, tall cooler mount by ID Cooling. Now the front fan of ID Cooling is a 1800 RPM. The back fan is a deep cool uh, 120 millimeter fan that I pulled out my grandson in case I added it onto the back, which gives it more good airflow. That's about good 1400 RPM as well. So you got 1800 plus 1400. That's a total of 3200 RPM I'm pushing that baby to keep this baby cool. Yes, I'm on the Ryzen 5 3600, 3.6 megahertz base with the 4.2 boost. You know, can't complain, it does its thing and it moves very fast. As you see, peach fuzz building up on the on the tempered glass. You know, a lot of people went into um went into um glass tempered glass cases. But this is my first case that I had brought back in um of March of 2020. Yes, and I liked it because it has that vertical motherboard tray. Yes, the, the, the motherboard is a little dirty. Now I'm gonna clean it up as well. I'm gonna take y'all through the strip, through the clean, and the rear symbol. And I'll be going over all the parts um, of this build here. If y'all want to go ahead and purchase it, I'll be putting all the affiliate links in the description below. It's a nice low budget build. The um, graphic card is used, but this can be used as a gaming rig as well. It just all depends on how you um what graphic card you team in the red. So I'll let y'all gamers pick the right graphic card for your needs. Here, but for here, the W5, the W5100 is for my editing. Put all my format in um, 10, 1080p by 60 frames per second. They got that big whopping 200 millimeter fan by Cool Moon. Yeah, yeah. As you can go ahead and see all the peach fuzz on the fan. Oh my goodness. And I got the, oh my goodness, peach fuzz all on the fan and everything. So, yeah. This baby here pulling. That's about um four, five, six fans in this bad boy here. Plus, I got a fan in the back to go ahead and keep my 2.5s cool. So, yeah, it's about six fans in this case here. So, other than that, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get into the strip now. All right, everybody, welcome back. And we're gonna go through the dismantling. So, we just go ahead and get right into it, clean it up. Get this baby looking nice and clean. I showed y'all all the dirt and peach fuzz. You know, it's just not looking good. So, you know, just go ahead, let's go ahead and get right into it. 
Um, I do recommend that everybody clean their PCs out every one to two years. You know, you don't want to look at too sloppy. Loaded with caked up with your dust, your dirt. You don't want that at all. So, I recommend that everybody clean it out every two years, tops. Um, I personally like to clean mine out every year because every one, every time you dust your house, that dust falls back onto the floor and gets sucked into your system. As y'all saw, I broke down the fan floor for y'all. Yeah, y'all see what I'm messing with. So this is the, this is a little plate for here. So other than that, everything is good. Yes, I'm still old school. I still use the um, speaker outlet connection. So I can hear that beep. Yes. Newcomers don't use those no more, but I'm, I'm basically old school, old fashioned. So you know how I love to do it. Now keep in mind that I'm gonna go ahead and take the um, motherboard out because I gotta break that ID cooling CPU paste off which is great paste, it is thick. And just like I said, I had it for a year, so over the constant years, and since this is my editing rig, over the years, it dries out. So I am still may have a little thickness of it, but still, you guys go in on that break everything down. That means you gotta let it run for about like a good 10 to 15 minutes before dismantling it. So but you know how that is. Um, other than that, it is what it is. Then like I said, I recommend everybody who build PCs to do go through this method here. You know, I hate to go ahead and see everybody rigs that don't clean them. Um, if you don't clean them, then that would be y'all y'all mistake there because you guys are cleaning the rigs constantly. And once you do that there, then everything is good to go. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, that power supply is hard to come out. Everything is going to get washed. I'm going to wash my case in my sink. Um, if I was cleaning somebody else, it get, or everything get blown on the outside or sucked into my vacuum cleaner. Uh, I know a lot of the creators don't like using a vacuum cleaner. I do because before I put the vacuum cleaner brush heads on it, you got to make sure you fill your brush heads first. If it's a little coarse, don't use them. Go ahead and get an air can. And go ahead and blow the dust off or a little paintbrush that is soft bristles. Just like with my vacuum cleaner bristles, they are very soft and I could go over that doing that process. But since my board is not that dirty, I'm gonna be going ahead on and using the um paintbrush, very soft bristles. That's the main thing. You must make sure that your bristles are soft. You can use makeup brushes whatever i know a lot of people got a lot of blow vacs handheld blow vacs so if you want to go ahead on that you know brush off and blow off the dust at the same time that'll work as well too so that's like i said a lot of good key notes to go ahead on that um and cleaning your system now, just like I said, the AMD Fire Pro W51 is not a gaming card. It is only used for photo editing and video editing only. Video editing here is at 1080p, 60 frames per second. This is a 4 gigabyte graphic card. I'll be putting the um, description 
I'll be putting all the um the website of this graphic card if you want to do reading the link in the description below so you can go ahead and click on that link and read it because a lot of the game will start that you game off this year. You cannot game off any GPU that do not have a um power output. All GPUs need a power output because all the games y'all playing now needs to require the they need to have power to render the computer graphics which are known as CG. So so like I said, this is not a gaming card. This card is only used for photo and video editing only. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and get my um my Bluetooth head off. My USB Bluetooth. If you want Bluetooth, you can go ahead and buy one of those. The day latest motherboards come with it and they come Wi Fi equipped. So, you know, so like I said, I went back wired because it's better and it's best that way. And I ain't got to worry about anything. Yeah, this is a big Trojan monster here. Now, my um, power supply is the Raid Max. 80 plus white. Um, I chose that power supply because when I tried to go ahead and get me a fully modular power supply back in 2020, every time with the new egg, that was all sold out, sold out, sold out. So I said, you know what? I'm not really junking the ketchup and mustard cables. They worked back with me. When I was building my first, I built my first PC in 20, in the year of 2000. Yep. When I got my first apartment, I built my PC with my comp, my compact Presario 2240. I had enough of it, and um, it did the stuff. And I went to go ahead and build my first motherboard using the um, Soyo socket 370 Intel chip die, CPU chip die. Yeah, zero core, zero threads. Back in the day, them PC was, was was doing it for us, but um, it is what it is. Now everything an upgrade. This is one reason why I could just appreciate our hardware and where we at now with it. I know a lot of people built their PC from 2000 and started in 2013 and etc. But the main thing here, y'all got to go ahead on and keep in mind is that um, if you don't know hardware, how can you be a tech enthusiast? I'm not talking about the ones who already got their, their brand well established that does multiple testing. I'm talking about the people who join join their friends and don't know deadly squad about hardware. So that's that's the thing there that y'all need to go ahead and figure that out. This is one reason why I says basically what I what I basically say is that if you don't know hardware, how you gonna go ahead and dispute somebody that do? My cable management is right for the said keyboard build. Um, it just, I guess, to go through all the untangling of my wires, which that sucks. My CPU rail and my um, 24 pin power rail, so I got to untangle those from. Pull out all the zip ties and everything. Oh yeah, this baby is dirty. Um, this is one reason why to all PCs users, clean your rigs. If you don't clean it, you're just gonna have a bird nest. And then when you start looking at your thermals, start rising. Like you just, you could just be an idler. You could just crank up your BIOS and just, just let everything sit for 30 minutes. And then your thermos is already touching 60, 70 degrees Celsius, and you ain't doing nothing, you're just in BIOS. Just monitoring everything. That means that your CPU, everything is all choked up. That's the only reason why I say go ahead and clean your rigs. Keep them clean on, 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 on a two year basis, and be happy with that. Yes, y'all see all my Mitch Match cables coming out. I will be going to eBay, paying five dollars for some 10-inch cables 
pull like yeah, about five or some change. You know what I mean? You don't have to break the bank in really. And while I'm doing that there, when I'm watching a lot of all my, all my all subscribers who I subscribe to, um, J2 Sins, Toasty Bros, um, Linus Tech Tips, Paul's Hardware, Bitwit, um, Tech Yes City, um, PC, um, PC Hustle, all, all, all my good creators that hard, hard, um, Hardware Channel um, Canucks, they all use. Uh, um, screw tray to keep all your screws and everything in one place. I will be buying one though because I do need them. And I do not mind buying that. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's one reason why I like the filter at the bottom of this here. Okay, so yeah. You know, that's one thing I like about it. It came with its own filter to the bottom. And yeah, since it sits on the desk, it still sucks in dust. But the thing I like about it is not sucking in that much dust. Y'all gonna see me go inside of it and clean this big 200 millimeter fan, 120 millimeter fan right there. Yeah, so that's a big plus right there as well. So just like I said, I got a lot of fans in this case here, a lot of hardware. Yeah, so yeah, I'm taking one fan out by out. <laughs> this is a, a hilarious right now, but um, I can appreciate it because. I appreciate putting this rig together for myself. Um, just like I said, I had my F2 motherboard in here. I said, you know what, I need to go ahead on and update. It's on um, DDR3, uh, 1600 megahertz, which it did good, but the thing is with that, it's on four cores, four threads, which I'll be swooping out that processor pretty soon because um, the, um, the APU that's in there, I had went into the uh, MSS config and, and boost up the uh, CPU. I can use all cores. It's not reading all my cores. Uh, I'm on Windows 8.1 with that system, which plays my um my game perfectly. You know, I ain't. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, over the years, I just got dirty. And I put this in, I put this in there about a little late towards um about 2020. So yeah, this is a lot Jissy fan. This came out of an old case that I had that I gave to my brother when I did his build. We do we do his build to get him out of that HP case. Yeah. Um that's the big thing there. So once I redid that. Everything was good and dandy, and that case spread came out of that. Now, I used to go ahead and buy a lot of cases that had no no presentation window, so I got into the presentation by fail by watching all of my friends I called out, watching them, and doing their thing. And I appreciate each and every last one of them, so that's a blessing right there. So now, turn that over. I can go ahead and pull up my mechanicals. Oh yeah, that's dirty. This is my Seagate, one terabyte, 7200 RPM. Make sure I put that secure there. Oh yeah, it's dirty. And the other one is my Seagate, 500 gigabyte, 7200 RPM. Yep, here comes the hardware. The hardware is coming out now. my cases down everything so yeah I, I'm getting dusty here because it's like so dusty and so filthy um, next what y'all know the truth Reset switch to cycle the um 
the colors, it's like the, 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 this is my selection through colors. I'm not gonna be connecting it up like that no more. I got, I got the remote, which works good for me. Yeah, y'all can see all the dust and everything on the inside. Now what I'm gonna be doing is removing the, the grill pans itself. Um, and that this whole front panel is resin is gonna come off, so I can wash that out. That's gonna be taking the um the fronts off. Now here's the moment of truth right here is putting all my RGB fans out the controller up from Cool Moon. I love Cool Moon. Great company. My motherboard do not come with the um RGB header on it, which is it's just no problem. I got it to the RGB vibe. That's why I brought them. This is a great company. I love Cool Moon products. Um, the uh, CPU cooler fan is by ID Cooler. This is the SE224 XT Basic. Handling power is 180 TDP. So if I want to go ahead and change my processor later on down the line. I ain't got to change my CPU cooler out. Now keep in mind, everybody jump they CPU coolers with the front side here and clickety clackety noise off the fan to all the newcomers. When you hear that clickety clackety noise off the fan, that means you burned out the hours of them and they last about literally about like six to eight years. Once you hear that, just buy you some more fans. And when you do that, you'll be happy. You already did your homework on your CPU cooler. But when you go ahead on, if you got a a, um, a weight system of measuring grams and stuff, you can weigh your CPU cooler, or you just feel the heaviness in your hand. When you feel, when your CPU cooler feels heavy, you got a good cooler. Now a lot of people don't know that, so let's just go ahead and give y'all that good information right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and swing my hard drives out. Now, if you don't want to use the um, mechanical 2.5 I'm going to go ahead on and give y'all an alternative to where y'all could go ahead on and buy y'all some 2.56 because like I said this is my editing rig I don't do external hard drive everything is internal so this is one reason why I make sure that my case holds as much more than five to six hard drives and once that's down, that means I got room to add another hard drive for storage when I want to store my music on there, um, personal files such as my taxes, etc. Um, um, movies, um, my videos, you know, I can go ahead and put my videos on, on one hard drive. But if I don't want them no more, I can go through them and throw them away. You know, go ahead and keep, keep the good ones and go ahead and get rid of the bad ones. That's what basically I'm saying. Now these are my Samsung. Now these hard drives here were recycled. I put them out of. I put these out of laptops. These are 320 gigabytes of my Samsung. Just like I said, if you don't want mechanicals, you can go ahead and add two uh, 2.5 SSDs in there. That suits your needs. Now my my choice is Team Group, but um. I'll be putting that in the link in the description below if y'all want to purchase them to go along with building this rig. Now, the case, just like I said, is obsolete. I will be putting an alternative to this thing because as you see, I have a big 200 millimeter fan up, up front. Now, this case here holds 120, 140, 200 millimeters. The top holds 120 millimeters too or two 140 millimeters and it houses a 240 millimeter radiator now just like i said i'm not a big fan of the radiator because i don't like that cord hanging down you know to all the people who use the aios more power to you i'm not just like i said i'm not jumping the hallway it just i just don't like to see that you know this is like i like my air coolness Cable management, like I said, is spot on, so I ain't gotta worry about nothing. Um, everything is good. Now we almost done dismantling the case. As you see, it is dirty. Now I got to go ahead and take my. Uh, see, that's one thing here that I regret. This is one thing I want to do here is. As you see, 
my sticky hub is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a magnet on, on the back of it. And I got the this one through that, so yeah. Yeah, see this is one reason why and to all companies that does hubs like Cool Moon, um what we want y'all to do is don't put the adhesive back onto them. Let us do that because I, I got a magnet adhesive back that I'm gonna be adding on to this because I'll be getting rid of I'll be getting rid of this nonsense right here. And yeah, I got some goop going, so yeah, it's gonna you know what? Everything's coming off. Oh, well it came off perfectly, but y'all gonna see me take it off the hard way. This is one reason why we uh, want companies not to um that goes with Corsair, um, Thermotake, which I like their cause their hubs though, but I'm thinking about Thermotake, I don't like their trans are expensive. And just like you said, I'm a budget builder, so I build on a budget. Now just like I said, I got goop going. I'm gonna be taking the back off so I don't mess up my um my um RGB um PCB on the inside so I'm gonna take that off and just go ahead and put the goop going up there and just scrape off the adhesive and go ahead and put the um adhesive magnet back onto it. So I, if I wanna move it, it's already magnetized so I ain't gotta worry about anything. Yeah but this is a great cooler by Cool Moon. You can't go wrong with it. This is the um Molex power adapter. They do do SATA and they do do also do a um, one you can go ahead and connect to the ARGB. So if y'all interested in buying this company here, this is the Sunshine version here. So I'll be putting that in the link in the description below. I had ordered this off eBay, but it came from overseas from Hong Kong. So, you know, this is just like I said, all the parts come from overseas. So this is a good company. You cannot go wrong with it. And um, once I go ahead and get my PR and everything together, I would like to go ahead and be um, working with this company here and the sponsorship built. Where then I build the PC and we go ahead and send it off to the lucky winner. That's the that's the main thing. I also said that as well too. Everybody want to see me buy PC parts and build PCs. My channel is not about that. I know how to pick the parts out. I know how to use the parts. Like this here. I didn't have to upgrade it such a heavy processor, but I was looking for speed and performance and getting things done and rendering and this is a CPU, the Ryzen 5 3600 it is it's a be 3.6 um, gigahertz to um, 4.2 boost I didn't boost it yet because I don't have a motherboard that is, is non-boostable so I have low VRMs on this motherboard because I don't believe it only comes in my parts and this is why I chose this motherboard it's a good motherboard for me and it's a great motherboard now here is my um M.2 that's my team group that's um I think it's the MP33 uh, 256 I will be putting that in the description below like I said I didn't need something for boot if I want to upgrade to a one terabyte I can do so but I don't need that much uh, 256 is what I was good for looking for I'm looking for 500 but I was on a budget and they had this on sale, so which came out great. And we moving the top bezel, we will on top. Yes, as you see, everything's stacking up right there, cooling the case, and yes, yeah, you can see the dust on this bad boy, and it's looking nasty now. All right. Um, other than that, everything is great. Y'all seeing me dismantle the parts now? I dismantled the um the RGB fans. Y'all probably saying well one thing a lot of people like with well they use a lot of coaster cases because it's the easy cable management and that's one thing I give coaster credit to is the easy cable management with the straps with the fan tech cases. Now I do like fan techs um when I do another build for somebody or if I have to do an um a refresh a revamp of the old PC I will be using that case that case is awesome and I'll be using the um 
the um, P300A mesh because that case is phenomenal. And I've been watching Bitwit do a lot of builds with them cases. And trust me, Fantex the real deal with Do It Yourself, Roseville, Salmon, and Cougar. Those are cases I will be using in the automobile. So, y'all look out for those videos whenever they come. All right. Yeah, like I said, I'm working on my monetization, so I'm working on my PR, my PR game right now, so I wish we had those convention centers going on, you had to go overseas for them, but I wish we had one down in Florida that I could just easily go to, and um, darn it, my dad's some great camera management here, boy, good gracious. <laughs> Everything is tied down perfectly. I just great cable management. Now, everything is rebuilt. I'm glad to go ahead on me doing this here with y'all. Um, because the thing I like about this here is I want to go ahead and give a shout out to um, Greg Salazar. He put me on game doing this here. Uh, I thought that, you know, start my channel up, you got built PCs, built PCs. But he gave me a good, good idea that, hey, if you know what you're doing, everything works out great. Now, just like I said, he's one of my subscribers. And I, I appreciate all his videos. That's why I love watching it. He just recently did his, his own editing rig over using the um the um the LGA 1700s, the all the ladies. But to me, he didn't really have to do that because he has so much great built, great great systems in his house that he put together for himself. He put together his office rig so so they can go ahead and keep up. With the um, with their client tails, um, yeah, you can see all the peach fuzz and then the, 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 into, the, into the fan. So yeah, that's nasty. But um, as I was saying right now, he does he does great videos, and I, I love I try to subscribe to his channel because, like I said, YouTube is all about learning from each other. It's not a competition. If we make it a competition, then it becomes mediocre. Then we gotta find a new platform to be on because who wants to be on a mediocre platform where you gotta compete for videos? Come, I, I ain't gotta compete with another creator because he got to where he's at by doing his thing. His preference is spot on. I mean, yeah, you gotta have great personality. Yeah, you gotta have camera. You gotta be camera friendly. Um, I do a lot of me. I do a lot of my videos off camera because. You know, a lot of um, YouTube, so YouTube subscribers, a lot of YouTubers, YouTube creators can became famous without showing their face. Now YouTube wants to go ahead and want, want us to be journalists where we got to show our face and explain this and this and that. You know, just like I said, if you do your homework right, especially in the tech world, if you do your homework right and you know how you're going to use your PC, go ahead and pick your parts that's going to suit only you. And that's another thing I said there. All built, all system innovators build their systems for themselves. Now if you like the parts that that we use and then we go ahead and put in the affiliate link so y'all can go ahead on there and order them. Um, but just like I said, I like picking my own part because I know how I'm going to be using my PC. One, I'm not an overclocker, so I don't need excess power. I know there's a lot of basic silver users out there. They don't need the um, Z690 with with the 1200 watt power supply, the RX 6900 XT, just to go ahead on and, and do spreadsheets. With 64 gigabyte of RAM, no, we're not film production studio, so we're not putting out movies constantly. So <laughs> that's one thing <laughs> that um, everybody get mixed up with, because they they getting making them thinking that we're film producers. 
I had a lot of inquiries, people asking me how I'm hiring. Really. Yeah, I would love to hire if I came up with Ron Entertainment. Yeah. And we constantly spitting up videos on the regular. I mean 30 minutes to 40 minutes of videos on the regular, but I'm not. Jesus, it's disgusting. But um, yeah. And this is one reason why I love this case here because and I'm kind of like mad with do it yourself because they, they basically strand off off the um the cube cases because to me this is the best case ever. Now it's, it's it has blue a sense because I do like I say I love blue and when I do my um my introduction video again I'll be explaining why I like red and blue a lot. I like black and white. Black and white is a balance of yin yang, so it's a balance of evil and peace. So I'm trying to bring that balance where we all can bond and come back together as one. And we can respect each other on YouTube because every little video I see, I could build it better than you. Or I get comments stating, oh, well, you didn't show this. So like I said, I don't need to buy hardware. That's why I put other um, creators and video links in the description below so y'all can click on that and watch it. And then, if you like watching his or her video, you subscribe to the channel for more great content. That's called support. We all support each other in this system here. Once, once we got these mediocre creators now, yeah, I said mediocre. Y'all doing stuff that, that, that y'all want us to do and no I'm not doing that I am 47 years old I am not jumping off no damn building being a stuntman and I no I don't think so um but one thing I will be doing my channel is I'll be getting doing my sports commentary because I love doing my uh, fantasy league yeah and no I don't do dual fans because I don't gamble that is for gamblers and recently they had the um, website hacked because they trying to go ahead on the game because it's a big site. Yeah. And trust me, do a fan pumps some heavy money into that there. So people try to say how to go ahead and change everything, all these servers out and everything. So so that won't happen again. So yeah, I don't do dual fans. I do ESPN. Um I watch a lot of um, news commentators. So oh, Jesus Christ, that's disgusting. The one that can't see my RGB no more on my arm. On my arm case. Oh my gosh. And my CPU cooler is dirty. Jeez. Y'all gotta do a lot of cleaning. Oh uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of cleaning. Oh, that's where my arm. I kind of figured out the sign because I had brought two Arctic F12s. And I'm trying to figure out where they um where that fan went at. Now I know where it went at. It went on back in here. Now I got two fans. The um ID cooling fans that comes with it is from 800 to 1800 RPM. 800 RPM up to 1800 RPM. You could adjust the fan speed, that is a PWM, so you could adjust the fan speed into your BIOS. Trust me, when you crank that thing up the turbo, it is no loud and noisy. And I got it set to like, standard that gives me about 1500 RPM to like 12 to 1500 RPM if I need it. And then I got the um, 1350 RPM off the uh, Arctic cooler. So you add, I'm gonna do the max. If y'all wanna crank the max, the max is 1800, 1350. So that's um 3150 RPM with both fans on. Yeah, I'm packing some pressure. So when I go ahead and hit these videos constantly, this baby head stays cool. And I like that. And this is one reason why I like the um, CPU coolers where you can add it um you can add that extra fan on to it so you go ahead and get the double pressure baby i love that double pressure ha ah, yes sir so yes with that there 
the RPM is in the, it's about 3200 RPM on the fan on my CPU cooler, which is 180 thermal design power handleage, and I cannot go wrong with that. Now, one thing I love about these fans here, as you see, it is dusty. It keeps a lot of the dust off of them. These are free bulls, 120 meter mesh fan covers. They do the job great. You get a pack of 12. I will be putting that in the link in the description below if you want mesh covers to put on your case fans in the back. Now, if you're not, if your case fan already comes with a mesh cover grill, you don't need none up front. But this is good for, for back cases as well as um, um, open cases that don't have any mesh covering to keep a lot of dust flow like my um, Zelman uh, T7. It has a nice grill up front, but don't have no mesh up front to keep that dust from coming in. And that's my entertainment rig, and yes, it is getting dusty. So these fans are great to have. These fan grill covers are great to have, dust grill covers. They are great to have by three boards. So I'll be putting in the link in the description below. And you cannot go wrong with this as this. Like I said, I have three 120 um, cool moon fans with the um, 200 millimeter fan. I'll be putting the RPM, all the descriptions of the parts if y'all interested in it, the, um, the fan speeds, the RPM fan speeds of all the fans. I'll be putting those in the description below because you can't go wrong with them. These are just like I said, this is a great build I put together here for myself. Um, um, yeah, it's been here and, and yeah, it, it, it is nasty. So now I'm going to go ahead and take the board out. That is the, the, the main thing to do and I'm going to go ahead and switch screw, screwdrivers because it is that time to do so. Yeah. Um, and yes, and my tools of choice is Tech Den and Hyper Tough. Those are my tools of choice. You know, if y'all want to use it, I fix it. Y'all use it, I fix it. Just like I said, y'all don't have to spend no more money on tools. Y'all got the right tools to do the job. Now, the only thing about it is that they um not magnetic, so, but that don't bother me. Not one bit. I just got to go ahead and find all my fan holes, my screw holes, and I hope this baby come right out. Now, just like I said, the last thing I'm not going to do on camera is um, I got to let the uh, CPU cooler run for like a 15 minutes before I pop the CPU cool off because um, just like I said, I use that thick thermal paste IB cooling and it is, it is a um, great, great CPU cooling place. So I'll be putting their website description and the link below. This is, yep, yeah, my 256 M.2 drive. Um, this is model here is, TM 8PS. Yep. And yeah. It has a three year warranty on it. So um, after three years, that is it. And it did, just like I said, these said last only the, 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 the um, year they put it up there. So once the warranty breaks, you guys will make sure you get the set warranty rise and um, you're all good to go. And don't want to damage that because my operating system is on that. Yes. And let me get my M.2 screws. Yep. And this is also good to have a, this don't get you a nice good pack of M.2 screws for like 80 cents. Get them off Amazon. So if you lose your M.2 screw, which I think I lost my M.2 screw on my um, Azeroth motherboard. So, but just like I said, I would not be um, adding no M.2 graph to that then because I got it on that Joint 120, which is great. 
by the way. <laughs> yeah, a lot of things that that, that a lot of textures finds not good to another texture, it is good. Um, it is what it is. It's not a fast hard drive. It don't have no catch anything to it. Which I'm not really worrying about that because the more the um, M.2 are, the more the cost. And it, like I said, uh, to all tech enthusiasts, tech builders out there, if y'all building your system for the first time, I do put parts up there for a budget. So like I said, you don't need to spend crazy money to go head on in. And to go ahead on and you know, to build a good system. If you want to be able to spend that money, that's all up to you. But to all those budget builders that built good good systems off great hardware. Yeah. Now the motherboard of my choice was the Asus A320MK. Now keep in mind, I did a video that saying that AMD is a dis abandoning all 300 series. Here's the thing, they did, they did do the update for the motherboards here, so if you're on any A320, like I'm on Asus, but other manufacturers, look for the latest motherboard manufacturer because now this motherboard here supports all Vermeer CPUs, that is the Ryzen 5 56, 5600, the Ryzen 7 5700, and the Ryzen 9. 5900 yes it supports those um but when you download that latest bios you will not be able to use bristol um bristol ridge cpus and those basically their apus all the a12s the a10s the a8s the uh, a4s the ancillons is will be discontinued off this motherboard so if that's something you are interested in then do so. Now this is a basic motherboard, so you do need an uh, uh, APU to update the BIOS with the latest gear. I'll be putting the new motherboards in there, which are the B550s and the X570s. You just hit the um, the um, flash flash button on the on um, board after you install the um, the um, BIOS on the on um, flash drive. Plug that into the bio flash reader in the back of the motherboard. Plug in your power supply. You don't need no CPU, no memory, just hit the flash button and it's just wait about three, five minutes when everything stops. You update it to the latest BIOS to run the latest CPUs. But for old motherboards that don't have that, you need that APU to update the BIOS. Alrighty, now we're gonna go into phase two. It's cleaning up the parts. Alrighty.
All right, everybody, we are going to the rebuild now. Gonna put it all back together so I could be happy. Now, y'all seen me do the clean down? Yes, my babies are looking nice and clean like I fresh brought them out the box. All right, let's go over the parts. Here I am using the Asus Prime A320 MK motherboard. It's not overclockable. Just like I said, I don't need the extra boost in my performance of my system because I know what my system could do and I trust the regular stock of the Ryzen 5 3600 3.6 base. If I need the extra boost, it automatically do it itself, but I don't need it. This motherboard is great. As you see, low VRM has a only one four pin CPU connect. It has your 24 pin CPU connect for sellers. One M.2. Now keep in mind if you use the M.2, SATA 0 will be disabled. So you're gonna have the M.2 drive, um, S, um, SATA 2, SATA 3, SATA 4 if you go with SSDs. But if you use SATA hard drives over here, all four, all four ports are operational. Okay, great motherboard. I cannot go wrong with it. Non overclockable. It works for me. It supports what I do. And I'm excited. The monster that sits in the, the brain of it all. The Ryzen 5 3600 CPU. 3.6 base with a 4.2 boost. Unlocked. Great for gaming. If you team it with a powerful motherboard to go ahead and overclock it. Now for gamers, yes, you can use these parts here to play your game at 1080p. Just like I said, if I do play games, which I do, on my gaming computer, which is on the FM2 motherboard, I play all my games at 1080p, so I'm the kind of type that I don't need to go spend four, five, six to nine hundred dollars on a gaming monitor. 1080p works for me, 60 megahertz works for me, you cannot go wrong with it, everything is easy on the fly. Alrighty, the RAM is the Zeus T Force Zeus 16 gigabyte memory. Yes, DDR4 at 32 megahertz with CL20. 20 is good. The best speeds to be on is CL14 to CL18. CL20 is good. Anything over 20 is not good because you're going to get slow speed from your memory. This is good. Two sticks of 16 gigabyte giving me a total of 32 gigabyte of RAM. And, and that is the best speed for me. My system is flying. My system is moving. It gets all my editing done within two to three hours, two, two to three minutes. And all my apps and my programs snaps. Alrighty. The RGB hub is the Cool Moon Sunshine. Teams up with these are three Cool Moon RGB Sunshine uh, fans. This hub here works off Molex Paul Connect. It holds up the 10 fans, two LED strips, your Paul Connect piece in the back, as well as your reset button. So if you don't want to go ahead and use the remote, you can go ahead and cycle through the power with using the reset button. To me, it's, it's not necessary, so I'm not really worrying about it. Just like I said, the um, fans are the um, three pack Cool Moon Sunshine 120 millimeter fans. There are 1200 RPMs. Great airflow for all I need to go ahead and keep my whole entire chassis cool. I don't overclock anything. I don't have to because I don't need the extra boost or performance in my system. Here is the Cool Moon 200 millimeter RGB fan, 1200 RPM. Cannot go wrong with it. That's a big B sitting up front, putting all that good cooler in. And I got my fans pulling all that hot air out. So it is good to go. The um, GPU of my choice is my AMD Fire Pro W5100. To all gamers, this is not a gaming CPU. Uh, this is not my correction. This is not a gaming GPU. There's no power connect. So I saw a lot of reviews on it. 
to the people posting up reviews on here and still using it what it's used for this graphic card is used for photoshop editing and rendering that is it not the game on and a lot of people demoralized the card i had to look through all the negativity y'all gave this a card and find some truth and using for my editing for my 1080p 60 frames per second it's a four gigabyte card that's all i need to go head on and do my thing yes the power supply of choice is the raid max vortex 80 plus 600 watt power supply yes you see it 600 watts um great power supply i had it for a year now and it's going to be continuing to grow strong as years come out as years go out this is a great power supply by Ray Max. They make some great good products. I'll be putting up their website in the description below so you can go ahead and check out all the cases, their case friends, the AIO coolers, etc. Um, it all depends on what you're teaming up with, and everything is good. Now, I know a lot of people use full modular power supplies. Um, at that time of buying this power supply in 2020, it was hard for me to get one because they were sold out and then we became only power supply shortage in that time for in that time era in 2020 in 2020. Now they everything is back on full supply stuff for the GPUs, but we'll get there shortly and then we'll be all happy again building our systems. Alrighty, as y'all see the storage, big beast monsters. Alrighty, the storage as is team group. M.2 uh, TM8P. This is it. Regular M.2, you know, NVMe. It's at SATA 3, 6 gigabytes. I have you seen right through your warranty. It's a great M.2 holding off on 256 gigabyte. That's all I needed just for my boot and just to hold certain, um, certain picture files, etc. on there. Nothing big, nothing fancy. If I wanted big and fancy, I would have had got the 512 gigabyte or the one terabyte. I'll be putting that link in the description below if y'all want to interested in purchasing any of these parts as we go along through the part list. Now, here is my Seagate used one terabyte hard drive. Still standing strong, still holding it strong. It is at 7200 RPM. It's a mechanical 3.5 hard drive. Great. Cannot go wrong with it and hold all my files in it. So I'm happy with the storage you're giving me and etc. Beefing it out more is the Seagate Barracuda again. I love Seagates as seeks as you notice. Seagates Russian Digital and Team Group and hard drive space and RAM is all I'm using for all my builds. So I cannot go wrong with that. This is the Seagate 500 gigabyte 7200 RPM. You can't go wrong with that and more storage. Now on the side hand kick here is, let me turn them up the right way here, are my Samsung 320 gigabyte hard drives. It's at 5400 RPM, low speed. Now these hard drives have a lot of document files and stuff into them, so I cannot go wrong with them. And when it comes to holding important information instead of using an external drive i have them all internal this is one reason why i love my internals better than externals now the cooler of it all are the id cooling se 224 xt this is a great cooler tdp handleage is 180 watts so if I plan on going up from 64 watts to 107 watts or 120 watts, this cooler will do its thing. Like that nice good black mount finish up top. You cannot go wrong with it. And I love it. I love this company. I love this brand. Now the case fans are the ID cooling fan here it comes with one 120 millimeter fan pushing at 1800 rpm max um for low speed is at 800 rpm 
but I keep that as stated at between 1500 because I go in my BIOS and I go ahead on and uh, configure my uh, chassis fan speed. Now to add more extra thump to it is the Arctic F12 1350 RPM. So if I want to go to the max of the ID cooling fan and that fan is 1350. That's 3150 RPM pushing mad cooler, keeping that cooler cool as it keep that chip set cool when I go ahead and crank the loads on this bad boy. No heating issue. I stay if I'm throttling, I stay at a good the 45 to 50 degrees Celsius automatic because I got them heavy balls kicking that thing. Keeping that baby cool and that cooler keeps the CPU cooler on uh, CPU cool. Yes. You cannot go wrong with the part. Now for more extra cooling, I almost forgot the little baby. It's the Logisi 80 millimeter clear. This sits back into my Q Boy case and it keeps those 2.5s cool as well as with the 200 and that blown on my hard drive, it keeps it cool so I can go ahead and have longer longevity life on it so it won't be not an issue in doing my thing. Now the years of all mechanical hard drives is five to 10 years if we do not keep cooling on them. If we keep cooling on them, you can go ahead and expand the life just a little bit more and you cannot go wrong with it. I will be also putting the life longevity of the um, M.2 drives, how long they last before y'all need to replace them and lose all your information off of them. This is one reason why we say go ahead and back up all your information on a flash drive, such as your pictures, music, etc., um, documents, um, for lawyers, they keep they, they go around with laptops, so but if a lawyer like to work on his own home office at home and he use his own desktop computer, then yeah, it's always good to go ahead and keep flash drives around. Alrighty, enough said. The case is outside drying. Y'all saw me washed it. It is the Q Boy. Uh, by do it yourself. Now, when I brought that case in March of 2020, it was on sale. That is one of the most best case that Q Boy ever ever did. Let me go out here to the right. Y'all just follow me on the outside, right here, because it's in the hot sun drying, and you cannot go wrong with that. Here is the case damn good case I like it because it had that vertical mount um, my motherboard tray just like I said y'all saw the dirty pictures it was filthy I brought this baby back to life here is the 2.5 hard drive bay there's your two 3.5s your vertical mount motherboard tray your cooling fan up top you can go ahead and hold a house of, um, a 240 um, radiator up top up front you can hold put a 200 millimeter, 140 millimeter, and a 120 millimeter, and you got a 120 millimeter in the back of the case. Then, like I said, it's a nice big case. That's why I call her Big Susie. All right, viewers, y'all see what I'm messing with here? The Ryzen 5 3600. Y'all saw my cute boy case. That's why I call her Big Susie, cause she's a big beast, big monster, and she go ahead and do whatever I need to be done. Yes. Y'all saw my parts. Y'all saw what I'm messing with. Enough talking. Let's do this. I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake me. Ray gun on safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily. So the stress don't face me. I'm going. I keep it factual. I'm on sabbatical. I'm out in Central America. I need a break from hysteria. Park like the one with the carousel. I get it lit in your area. I'm locked to the vision, it couldn't be clear. You couldn't pay me to care enough. I dare you to hate me, supreme with the sound through the stereo. So turn it up loud when you're hearing us. We live in this good in your area. My mama proud, she tearing up and it's going down. Got your girl aroused by these massive stacks like a hundred pounds. Running big laps till the sun is down like a hundred miles. Tenant frames on me, leaning down. I'm winning now. Been a while, you ain't like me then, but how you like me now? Red one, if I hold you down, I'ma keep it there till we in the ground. Jet black when I paint the town, only blue sheets when they pay me now. Treat a setback like a step back. Wave, I got the game in the virus grip. Way up when the virus clear. All my niggas on the flight list. Verbally gifted, take the plot and I twist it. Got a big lit. Sex with the incense, got my mind rants, won't stop from relentless. I'ma need safety. Tell her I can't snake it. Ray gun on safety. My girl so tasty. Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. 
blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm yeah. going. I want a grill for the mouthpiece, so bright that it light on my face. Your shawty just call me a fave, cause she like my character traits. I never stop for a break. I put a lock on the game, I put a stock in my name, but I give a fuck about the fame. I took a bite out of life and it tastes so exquisite, it feel like you do when you look in my pendant. Hopeless romantic, my girl, chin up for the kid, I'm not on no simp shit Won't stop to the youngest, he dreams, wanna take him from rags to riches I heard that you claim that you know me, but you ain't the homie, the fuck is your friendship? I need the lords, he back up the royalty, I give a fuck if you notice me Ain't nobody holding me, big wave at your shoreline so they know it's me Bay boy from the cold seas, nitro with a new pen, go at ISO, tell him don't reach Ice cold with it, no fleece, I'ma need safety, tell the op can't snake me Ray gun off safety, my girl so tasty Tell her it's your world. She want the two tone spaceship. Blow smoke screen daily, so the stress don't face me. I'm going, hey, look, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, crazy, wave, yeah, I'm crazy, yeah, look, I'm going, crazy, wave, hey, look, I'm going, I'm going, yeah, I'm going, I'm going, crazy, wave, yeah. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on the low. Trapping out of where I live. I keep seeing the leaders doing as we talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my machine, shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me Slide on me for that mean greet Vibe with me in the moonshine Sipping moonshine to the new sky Say toasted and be raised soaked in the raincoat Hit the waist quota, I be flossing I be locked in, I was lost here All that turned me to a target Splatting on me, I be cautious Back then I was an adolescent Then I had a lesson, I'm the man now I got fans now, I'm on cam now I got plans now, I'm finna branch out Grip quick, but never let go this year All of that bullshit is in my rear Blues and papers, blowing vapors, sweat and traders. Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it. Hey. Used to play to play, now I think we made it now. She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down. Hold it down for me, you say you down for me. You say you, you say you hold it all the way down. Hold it down for me, hold it down for me. You say you, you say you hold it all the way down. You say you down for me, hold it down for me. Say, say, hold it all the way down Hold it down for me, say it down for me Wait, okay, I give a fuck what you telling me I really don't like it's telling me Saw a trip, I got the recipe And you can find me where that pressure be I'm really trying to see Tel Aviv Fuck your elevation, I've been levitated in the preparation I've been meditated, I've been hella patient I'm so tired of waiting I got right here with my day Y'all niggas from where that crevice be I've been solid since the lesson me I here with the C, really in the field Niggas on cam now, I got plants now I'm finna branch out, I grew up quick But never let go of this year All of that bullshit is in my rear Ay. Blues and papers, blowing vapors, sweat and traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch, I made it Ay. Used to play to play, now I think we made it now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down Hold it down for me, you say you down for me you say you, you say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me, hold it down for me you say you, you say you hold it all the way down you say you down for me, hold it down for me you say you, you say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me, you say you down for me Yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. no, no, I won't let him uh. We go forever and ever, yeah. I go and create the pressure yeah. You would say you can do better, uh. you would say you can do better
Wap, wap, straight E We go forever and ever, yeah You know that I'm a true setter, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh No, no, I won't let her, uh We go forever and ever, yeah I go and create the pressure, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh You wish that you can do better, yeah We go forever and ever, yeah You know that I'm a true setter, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh No, no, I won't let her, uh We go forever and ever, yeah I go and create the pressure, yeah You wish that you can do better, uh You wish that you can do better All right, everybody, the moment of truth. She's done, she took a while, but I got it going. All right, here we go. Let me turn on my monitors. Excuse the desk, everybody. You know how it is, I've been doing a whole lot of paperwork. You know, trying to go ahead and get things done, everything in, monitors powering up, HDM1, and she's on. And there she goes. She has booted up the moment of truth. Woo! Let me hit F1. I gotta go ahead and reconfigure everything again. So, because I moved everything out of order. As you see, I'm on BIOS version um, 5862. That's the new version to hold to um, support the Vimeo. CPUs, yes, you can go ahead and run 5600X, 5700X, and the 5900X on the cell. Um, everything is good. My board has been out for a while, so I got to go ahead and reconfigure everything. Other than that, she is good to go. She has booted up into BIOS. That's a blessing. So now I just got to go ahead and configure everything, and let me go ahead and give you my face shot. All right. All right, everybody. Don't she look nice and clean in the back? Yes, she does. Um, it, it was a pain. So other than that, thank y'all for watching. Subscribe to my channel for more content. I got more great videos coming your way. Give me thumbs up. Yes, give me the thumbs up on the way out. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.